Hey, Jordy, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Doing good. Um, I just want to ask you um, a little bit about uh, your first encounter with Patty. What was that like? i um, curious what like your impression was just meeting Patty Gasso for the first time. Um, my first impression of Coach Gasso is, wow, she's a boss female. She is an absolute alpha. And, um, you know, I, I wanted in on that. And I watch her players play, and they play with that same confidence and swag. And um, that's definitely someone that I wanted to be working under for the next four years. Um, just to refresh, Anna, when, when did you commit to Oklahoma? And how uh, tough of a choice was that for you? It was the um, fall of my junior year and like at, in seventh grade, OU was my dream school. And then as I got older, you know, I never really thought it was something that would have actually happened. And so when they reached out to me, I was like, really, I was surprised. I was honored. I was humbled. And um, it was an easy decision. Gotcha. Thank you so much. We'll go to Ryan Aber. Yeah, Jordy, uh, good to talk to you. Um, we, we see the confidence that, that you've shown um, and the, the composure that you've shown really earlier in your career. Where do you, where do you feel like that comes from uh, for you? And I assume you expected to have uh, plenty of success as a freshman, but um, how, how is this compared to maybe what you thought? Um, I feel like growing up in a family with three brothers from a very young age, I was trying to show them that I can hang with them. And whether I felt like I actually could or not, I was going to show that I could um, kind of just like the fake it till you make it type of thing. And I think that just pushed me to have a level of confidence. Um, it really carried into my heart um, in a very good way, I feel like. And really just growing up, um, you know, the hard work and everything, all that you put into like leading up to the games, you're able to take the field with like no doubt in your mind that you're ready to go out there and compete. And so I feel like that's a lot of where that confidence comes from is knowing that I feel ready to go out there and compete. And then uh, last weekend you, you faced maybe, uh, well, uh, more adversity than you had uh, to that point uh, in, in your freshman year. Uh, how do you feel like you reacted to that? And uh, how do you feel like that can help you here moving forward the rest of the season? Yes, um, I don't doubt that that is the only time that me and this team will face adversity the rest of the season. Um, I think it's good for us. It keeps us honest. It reminds us that we still have a lot of work to do and that there's a long ways to go. Um, and honestly, that's one of my favorite parts about the sport is that pressure, those pressure situations. It's when you get the adrenaline and what gets you keep coming back. It's the continuous test that you get. So um, I like the adversity. I think it's a good test for me and our team. And um, yeah, really, you benefit more from the adversity than you do when you're just rolling people over. Hey, I really appreciate it, Jordy. Have a good one. Thank you, you too. Go to Abby Bitterman. Yeah, Jordy. I was um, just wondering, you know, your uh, thoughts on the rest of the pitching staff around you and kind of what you've learned and taken away from working with them. I am very thankful for this pitching staff. We have a lot of veterans, um, Nicole May, Macy, Hope, um, Hope especially coming to our staff, I think is amazing because she's a fifth year senior. And so that is a lot of maturity and that's a lot of knowledge that I've been able to draw from. And the same can be said with Nicole May and Macy. Um, everyone, you know, when we do scouting on teams, like we'll all sit there together and watch teams and we all notice different things. And so it's awesome to, to be able to pick each other's brains, um, build off each other. I think we work really well together in games as well. For instance, against Tennessee, I started struggling. Nicole May came in, kept us in the game and we were able to get out of that. Um, Hope has done the same for us throughout the season and Macy and I think we really gel as a staff and I think that's really important. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go to Ryan Chapman. Hey Jordy, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Doing okay. I, I was curious, similar to what Abby just asked you, but Coach Rocha, what, what is your relationship been with her since uh, arriving on campus and, and how has she helped you continue to develop as you obviously are one of the, the top recruits in the country but but as you've been able to get even better here in your time at Oklahoma 
Yes, I have so much respect for Coach Rocha, and I've leaned on her a lot, especially in this freshman year. Um, I love how she doesn't have like one mold that she wants all of her pitchers to fit into. She understands that we all have different strengths or weaknesses that need to be built on, but then she builds from that. Um, she's very smart in the game. She's um, grown my knowledge of the game. Um, just the things that we're able to bounce off each other in the bullpen is amazing. And I really like she knows the game like no other. Thanks, Jordy. Thank you. Got <clears throat> Eric Lopez. I was just curious, uh, did you have any favorite players or people you looked up to as you got into softball and what got you into playing softball? One of my favorite players looking to was actually Sydney Romero. And one of the first things I noticed about her is the way she carried herself. And I just couldn't believe that she was a freshman, the impact she was making, she was making as a freshman. And I just love the firing confidence that she played with in the swag at third. And now I get to actually be here and have her be coaching me. So that's like, everything makes a full circle. That's just like a dream come true. Um, so she was definitely my favorite player. And what got you interested in playing softball? Oh yeah, sorry. So what got me interested in playing softball was my older brother, Hayden. Um, he is two years older than me, but he played baseball and he was a pitcher and first baseman. So the pitcher and first baseman was always my dream and first base hasn't really worked out, but he's also why I wanted to get into pitching. How did going to practice against this lineup that you faced in the fall, how did that help you adjust to division one level? Yeah, well, this actually um, reminds me of when I was talking to Hope before we started our first game. It was like the day before. And I was like, do you remember your first day, like your first outing as a freshman? And she was like, yeah, and let me tell you, she's like, you are prepared. You have been facing the best lineup in the fall, like in the entire country. And so you should go out there knowing that you're ready to go because you've already faced the best hitters. So these hitters have definitely made me better. Um, they've been a big part of me feeling prepared heading into the season. And it's really the best opportunity a pitcher could want. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go to James Hale. Jordy, nice to see you. Um, you know, you're off to such a great start. You know, I watched you quite a bit in your senior year and travel ball and things. Uh, there were different ways to watch you and things. And you were playing against high level competition. Every team you played had multiple D1 athletes and things. So I'm curious what adjustments or what's your take on D1 softball that you've run into so far? How much of an adjustment has it really been for you? Um, quite a big adjustment. Um, a lot of these teams and all these hitters, they're very consistent and they're very smart hitters. Um, in summer ball, you know, it's hard to do a scouting report on a pitcher because, you know, you only play maybe a team one or two times throughout the season. There's not film. Um, but these hitters, like they're doing their homework. They're looking for your weaknesses and they're going to try to benefit off of that. Um, so these hitters are a lot smarter, which has made me need, me need to be a smarter pitcher and come in with a better game plan. So I think that's one of the biggest things is that you really can't take any pitches off. Thanks, Jordy. Good luck. Thank you. <clears throat> Joey Elmer. Hi, Jordy. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Um, yeah, we were talking with Kenzie uh, a week or two ago, and she was just telling us how your personalities are really similar and terms of how you approach the game um, how has that kind of dynamic between you guys um, kind of helped you adjust to the college game and what's the battery like with Kenzie with the two of you guys um, yeah Kenzie is an absolute gamer and so I know she's going to be there every pitch just as well and I think our entire field is that same way like you're always feeling Jada Coleman from center field absolute gamer you're always feeling Grace Lyons TRA you know, it's just an intensity that they have. And I think that is part of what makes us so united is that, you know, when we step on the field, we are warriors going to battle. And that mentality between a pitcher and catcher is super important. And with every position on the field, it just creates a really good connection. I will go to Jason Batacchio. Hey, Jordy, how you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Um, so I kind of want to talk about your relationship with Hope Troutwin and Nicole May. Um, you know, obviously, as a freshman, you've stepped into uh, quite a large role here at Oklahoma. Um, what are some of the things that they've kind of showed you um, in a perspective of off the field, but also on the field um, in terms of leadership? Yeah, Nicole May and Hope Trout, when I look to them as sisters, you know, like we're all on the same team, we're sisters, but also I look to them as mentors. Um, 
I look at them as older sisters. So maybe people that I go to if I need advice or how to handle a situation or how an outing went a certain way, like we've all been in different situations. And so if maybe I'm dealing with something that is not as common, um, they've probably been there and I can go to them and bounce things off them and they can give me their best advice. Awesome. Um, you know, I'm kind of intrigued on, uh, I know Joey talked about your kind of swagger that you've had on the mound. Um, where, when did you develop that? And do you kind of model it after anybody um, that you watched growing up? Um, modeled it after anybody? No, I don't think so. Um, I really couldn't tell you when it started. Um, just, I think, like I said, growing up in a competitive household, um, I needed to be competitive in everything that I do. Um, and so I think a lot of just my confidence and wanting to win came from that. Um, I don't really know when like people will talk about how I walk around and everything. And I'm like, it's just, I don't know. It's just how I walk. I don't know. But um, I couldn't really tell you just try out there and do me. Awesome. Last question for you. Um, so I've noticed on some of your Instagram stories that you like to go hunting. Um, since you've been in Oklahoma, have you seen any uh, or have you been hunting at all? I have not been hunting, but a group of the girls in our team, we like to go fishing and just go hang mm -hmm. out in um, kind of rural Norman, outside of Norman. But um, it's definitely been a good escape from softball when I need it. Um, sometimes it just gets really overwhelming. And so being able to have those girls and just get a little escape is good. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I think we'll go last one for Jordy and Eric Lopez. What's the biggest thing you've learned, uh, you know, so far this season, you didn't know going in, you can only look, do so many things at practice. What's the biggest thing you've learned so far in the first few weeks of the season? Um, the biggest thing that I've learned so far is just how to manage everything. Um, softball is a bigger time commitment now than it's ever been before. School is, I need to be a lot more self-accountable in my schoolwork. You know, I don't have teachers on me all the time, making sure I'm getting stuff done. Um, just I need to be more mature in how I handle all my business. And so just learning how to kind of be more of an adult in that way, I think, has been one of my biggest things that I've learned coming here. Awesome. Thanks, Joe. Thank you.